I decided to um, video log this content or this, I don't know, this is not even content, I don't know. I just decided to start video logging. So today, <clears throat> today I made an appointment to get my IUD removed at the end of February so that we can start trying to make a baby. I'm going to have another baby. Here we are. I told everybody I wanted to wait till Harper was five. Harper is five plus now. So it, it's it's time. It's 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 been on my heart for a while, um, a lot last year. And EJ is finally on board listening to God. And actually my sister, friend who I've known basically all my life, Simone, texted me one day, probably back in like 2019 or 2020, and told me that she had a dream that I would have another child and that it was going to be a son. And I was like, okay. At the time, I was not thinking about having another kid. And then, of course, the pandemic happened. So I'm just like, who wants to have a baby during the pandemic? But listening to God's word, listening to what he says and listening to my desires and my husband and I, we're doing it. We're doing it. So I have been prepping for this baby mentally and emotionally and physically. I'm working out right now, trying to be as healthy as possible. And y'all know I started working out last summer. So in real time, today's date is January 10th, 2022. So I started my fitness journey again. I've been consistently working out since the summertime of 2021. So I'm just, you know, trying to be as healthy as possible, lose weight, be fit and trim, all that jazz. And then we go get the baby. And so I've been prepping for this baby, been talking to Harper about is she ready to have a sibling? And she is. And so we're going to have a boy. We're going to make a baby boy. And I've been prepping. I have an Amazon wish list already. It says my son. All the stuff that I want and need for him is up there. And then I just did this, y'all. <laughs> so I cloth diapered with Harper. And I have the covers out there. But the covers actually... I messed them up. I think they're still usable, but anyway, um, I'm building up my stash. So I decided that whenever I get paid, I'm gonna order some. So this is a black owned cloth diapering company. It's crunchyculture.com. And isn't these, aren't these just the cutest? This is so cute, right? Oh, it's still ordered. That is not the one I clicked on, Harper. It still ordered the mermaid one, but it's okay. So I got this one that says Wakanda forever. And this one is corals and curls and it has black Mer people on it. Yeah, they got a girl in board. So, and the shipping was really inexpensive, as you can see. The diapers are inexpensive, as you can see. And I have inserts um, in our storage area. So, I am prepping. I am getting ready, okay? By the time this child gets here, he will have a stash of cloth diapers, all black owned. Oh, boobies all out. Hello, you all. Today is Monday, January 24th, 2022. This is uh road to the little baby my son update i've been prepping for him so last time i talked to y'all i told y'all i ordered some diapers oh they put some sour patch kids in there that's mine no it, i have a candy box and mine your candy box is up in the room if you want candy you have it. that's for me and daddy stop all right so it's just the diaper no inserts because i have plenty of inserts it's a pocket diaper and this one has black mermaids and mermen on it. Ooh, and it's adjustable. Oh, these are like even better than the ones. I have bum genius diapers. Oh, it has an insert in the front and the back. And on the website, it says you don't even have to take the insert out that it'll come out in the washing machine, which will be a lot easier. And then we have this one. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Look at these two. Hey, and it's black and gold. EJ loves black and gold. No time for the friend. Yeah, these are nice. Especially in comparison to, it has like a, a wicking, a jersey wicking fabric. So that's gonna wick the wetness away from the baby. That's good. Shout out to Crunchy Culture. Now there's a few more designs I wanna order for them from them. So I already have the inserts, but the covers that I had before, I kind of, messed up the waterproofness we'll just say that 
Because we were on our way to New Orleans and overslept. we overslept, missed our flight, and I forgot I was stripping the diapers because when we went out of town, I just used disposables, a loose. All right, that's all I wanted to share with y'all. All right, y'all, it is a road to Baby McDuffie, pre-road to Baby McDuffie. I got another package. This is from Forever My Baby. I have any diapers. Yeah, Forever My Babies. I will say all these diaper companies take a while to ship. But I, and it also makes me glad that I'm going ahead and pre preparing and building my stock up because I can't imagine like waiting. Stop, baby. I can't imagine waiting and be like, oh, I'm pregnant now getting it. I'm glad I'm getting it ahead of time. Black owned woman owned company. They have all these cute black owned and woman owned company. I don't know how that came out just now. Wait, baby, one at a time. All right, so look at this one with the cute Lilo and Stitch. And it also on the outside, Harper, on the outside so you can adjust it, especially for like infants. It has these snaps here so it can fit tighter. Hopefully, I don't have to buy newborn diapers. And uh, it snaps up like this. Is that? Lord, y'all, it's been a while <laughs> since I've used a cloth diaper. But yeah, and it snaps up like that so it can fit a newborn. But it has stitch and it also has a pink stitch. I don't know if that's, oh no, it's stitch and then another alien. But it is called an alien on the website. And it's got yellow because black people look good in yellow right harper yeah so i almost have my stash i think i just need to order probably like 10 more i like to have 20 to 25 and i use pocket diapers tribal um panther on the back <laughs> and then there's a tribal lion on the front of the pocket these are nice and good quality oh i didn't even open it Oh, and here's their logo here on the front of the diaper. It looks hand stitched. Oh, and it has the same like jersey knit type as the crunchy culture one, but it only has the insert pocket on the back. Because remember, the crunchy culture had the opening in the front. This one doesn't have that, but that's what I'm used to with the. But then when my baby brought her pee on, it's not Let's get another one. Mm -hmm. And we have a <gasps> Wakanda, Wakanda Forever. And they also sell these. They didn't have. They don't have inserts in stock. But when they get them back in stock, you can buy the diapers with the inserts. So I have ten diapers. So I need about ten more. Yeah. Ten to fifteen more, and I'll be good. And these are actually more affordable than the popular brands like Bum Genius. I got these. Their diapers started like $9 and some change, the pockets. And I already have inserts, so there's that. <coughs> Stop, baby, that's making too much noise. That also saves me money. And then, yeah, so I don't have to spend $500. I'm not gonna spend $500 on pocket diapers. I'm probably going to spend like 300 at the most. And there's this one, this leopard, colorful leopard print with feathers on it. I think that's gonna be so cute. And then we have some large leaf plants. They have some really cute designs. There's some more I wanna order from this one. So I think this website, Forever My Babies and Crunchy Culture are gonna be my go-to. Crunchy Culture's diapers are a little more expensive. They start at 15. But what I bought from Forever My Babies, they were on sale. They had a sale, buy one, get one. 50% off, so I'm not gonna order anymore. I'm just gonna keep a lookout on both websites to see if like, there's a sale. And I'm also in their Facebook groups for you know exclusive releases and drops. Like whoever thought that cloth diapering would be such a culture. We got this one. I got this one for my husband. So this is his favorite show. Okay, so we have the Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy Jeff. And it says the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on the front. Bel-Air. So I know every time EJ changes the baby, he gonna be looking for this diaper. Kia, where the Fresh Prince diaper at? 
It's Dang already it. dirty, EJ. Oh, I can't change the baby unless the Fresh Prince diaper. <laughs> All right, that's it, diapers. So my stash is halfway there and I'll probably buy some more. I'll wait until I'm actually pregnant. Today's the day. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I made an appointment with my OB. I made that appointment a few weeks ago. So I am. I made an appointment to get my IUD removed because EJ and I are gonna try to conceive. Oh my gosh. So today is February 21st, 2022. I'm about to get unplugged. You heard me? But the doctor called me last week and I need to make another appointment, apparently, to have an ultrasound. And I think um, she wanted to look at, I have a fibroid. She wanted to check that out to make sure I didn't need to have that removed and it wasn't gonna cause an issue. This is gonna be crazy. So from now on when we have sex, we are going to be trying to get pregnant. This is um, exciting. I've never tried to have a baby. Of course, you're having when you're having sex, there's always that, you know, if you're not using protection or preventative measures. But this is the first time to actually plan and try to have a baby. All right, so I'm gonna head to the doctor and I will bring y'all along as much as I can. So just popping in, just arrived to the doctor's office and I'm giving a urine sample. And here's a little bit of my ultrasound results. They were measuring the size of my fibroid, the placement of my IUD, and the size of my uterus, my cervix, all that stuff. So here's these fun little images. Y'all get to see me from the inside. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all, my IUD is out. Oh my goodness. I could get pregnant within 24 hours. It could happen. Just don't know what my period's gonna look like. Luckily, they had tampons in the doctor's office. I took some tampons, I have panty lighters at home. So we'll see. So, um, a pre-pregnancy update. I think I do have my period. So for some reason, it's so light. So at night, it's just super light you know, nothing. So today, you know, earlier I went to the bathroom, there's something there on the panty liner, super light. This morning I felt like I may have had cramps, <laughs> but I don't know. I've had to experience cramps while I've had my IUD, but I, I felt like I had cramps. So I'm just monitoring it and tracking everything and I'm using my Fitbit app because it has that period tracking in there and I don't have to download another app so I can track like my period and my ovulation and just my whole cycle and the symptoms that I have. So I'm gonna use that to keep track so you know that I know what's going on with my body. Hello beautiful people. Here is a pregnancy um, vlog update. So Eva and I have been trying for about two, three weeks and we went to church with Aaron. EJ! Oh my gosh. <laughs> we went to church with our friends, Aaron and Jaquan today, and they served us food after church. So I was eating my food, it was good. And I was eating my Doritos and I was like, thinking to myself, they taste different. But I was just eating with my burger. I was like, maybe it's just cause I've eaten them with the burger that they taste different. So then I get to like almost the bottom of my bag and I say to EJ, I'm like, do the Doritos taste different to you? And then, Aaron was like, oh, you're pregnant. And I'm like, what? So immediately I went to Amazon and I ordered some pregnancy tests. So they'll be here tomorrow. So tomorrow I will take my first pregnancy test in this process of trying to conceive my son. And Aaron was already telling me congratulations. She said we're gonna be the womb tang clan. <laughs> womb tang. They came in the mail. I'm, there's Three early results and five test strips in here. Let me wash my hands. My first pregnancy test. All right, here we go. Gonna open. Oh, this is perfect, I have to pee. They say you let some out first and then check results after three minutes. I'll put three minutes on my watch. Okay, not gonna watch it. All right, y'all. 
Doritos. You saw it here yeah. first. I am not pregnant. It's not even a faint line. Yeah. It's the first pregnancy test. You don't get no urine on my fingers. You know what that means. Keep trying. Right, I got to take a picture and send it to Aaron. Yeah. <laughs>